Hey, what's up guys? This is Mario again, covering another trade. Uh, today I'm gonna go over American Airlines. I did day trade it on the short side for a second day continuation play, uh, also known as low hanging fruit. Uh, now I do own uh, American Airlines in a long-term portfolio and it's been going over a very tight range. And I was looking for a breakup at the, up that range if there was a stimulus package approved before the elections. Uh, but there's not, you know, so it started to sell off. Uh, yesterday sold off, there was, it was down 6%. So today I was like, you know what, this could continue to sell off on the second day continuation. So I'm gonna go over that, 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 that trade and kind of explain to you uh, where I traded and why. Um, I could have done a lot better in that trade, uh, but I got impatient and I also got hungry. And I also went to my local Mexican bakery and got myself uh, one of these right here. Uh, this is a conchita, uh, which translates in, in English as shell because it kind of looks like a shell. If you see that, um, highly recommend it, guys. If you, there's a, a local Mexican bakery, get one of these if you get a chance ever. Make sure uh, you get one that's freshly baked uh, in the morning, that's warm, and not all conchitas are made the same. So make sure you go to a highly rated uh, Mexican bakery. All right, guys. So let's get started. Let's go over this trade. Let me uh, share my screen. Uh, so you guys can kind of get to know, um, understand how I traded this uh, American Airlines stock. So let's let's get started. All right. So here it is. Um, so um, American Airlines has been in this tight range, um, actually, for a couple months. Um, and American Airlines, of course, was one of the uh, companies they got severely hit by the pandemic. Uh, huge sell-off. Um, this was most likely uh, Warren Buffett. He had a huge position in, in, in airlines, especially American Airlines. Uh, there was a squeeze right here. I believe this was around the first stimulus package that was approved. Uh, so I was actually looking for another move like this on a second stimulus package that could have been approved uh, that we were all hoping that was, that was going to be approved uh, before the election, but it doesn't look like it's happening anymore. So um, what happened yesterday, um, they, um, American Airlines literally started selling off and it broke below this, this range. And it broke this 12 level, which uh, let, me, let me go on my, on my other uh, uh, chart so you guys can see that. So this is the, again, the tight range and the levels that I was looking at was 12, is a huge support level and it broke before, below that 12 yesterday, uh, down 6%. So today I was looking for a second day continuation uh, short, um, on that move because again, no stimulus package uh, is going to be approved before the election. Uh, there's a, another third wave of a coronavirus um, happening in the United States and also in Europe. And also Europe has mentioned that looking to lock down the place. So uh, this is real guys. So it's going to affect the airlines severely. Um, and again, makes a lot of sense why American Airlines sold yesterday. So again, today I was looking for that second day move. Uh, so let's look at the intraday chart to kind of see where I shorted this. So again, okay, so this is yesterday's move, sold off, sold off, and it closed in the lows. So I was actually looking at 12 to, to kind of um, open my first, uh, my first starter short, and even maybe 12.10, 12.20, and even the pivot to level here at 12.28. Uh, so that's what I was looking at. Now, let me get these other, right, there you go. I like these uh, pivot levels better. So so when the market opened, well, looking at a pre-market, it did kind of gap up with the market. It tested the 12 and it sold off. Um, and again, I was looking for a strong open. I was hoping that hey, when it opens up, it will hit the 12, 12, 10, 12, 20, et cetera. And I could get in and I was hoping for a uh, fade uh, later on the day, but it actually opened weak. So I was, that's okay for me. You know, if it opens weak, I always, I have a, I always, I always have a plan. If it opens weak, it opens strong. So it opened weak and it literally uh, straight sold to uh, yesterday's low day, uh, which was on 1167 and it bounced off. And I was looking to, to get in on the bounce and that's exactly what it did. So it sold off, open weak, bounced off uh, yesterday's low. And the next level that I was looking for was 1175. And this level is based on the intraday uh, resistance um, level. So this is where I got this line right here. So I entered as a starter here at 1175, and I was hoping to add if we got some sort of a lower low or confirmation 
uh, to add, but it literally just went straight down. Uh, so I covered half at 1165, raised my stop to my entry level, and to kind of and, and let us see if hopefully we could get a, a lower move to maybe a S1 pivot level um, or, or maybe at least 1155. Uh, but it kind of bounced around. It started to consolidate, consolidate. And I noticed the market looked kind of weak. Uh, so looking at the SPY. Uh, now, American Airlines is part of the uh, S&P 500. So I did look at the S&P 500 or SPY ETF to kind of give me a, a glimpse of um, how American Airlines might trade. So I did notice um, S&P 500 selling off too. So I felt, you know what? I could see this fading all day. And I decided to enter on the break of lows. Decided to add my shares again, the ones that I that I um, that I uh, covered here, to add again, hoping for a move to uh, 1150 to S1 pivot. But it held. Um, the good thing is I raised my stop to my average uh, entry, which was around 1170. So it bounced back, and I got stopped out. Uh, but it was okay. I did make a, a money on this first trade, so I was happy with that. And I decided to get back in if it were to test 11.75, and it did. So I was really, really lucky in that one. So I went, I went bigger here on this, on this uh, entry right here. I went a little bit bigger uh, since it kind of tested already once, and I felt like this level was going to be uh, pretty good resistance. It sold off, and again, I wanted to cover half again in this level 11.67, and and hold the rest for a bigger move. And I did cover half. Uh, for whatever reason, um, I made a mistake. I fat fingered this trade. Um, I, I was actually adding a stop at my uh, entry level 1175, and for whatever reason, I messed up and I actually covered the second half. And I was like, "What the heck just happened?" So I was like scrambling to to get back in at 1167, but it never touched that level, and it just kept selling. And I was like, "You know what?" Uh, let's hopefully it does bounce again, but it didn't look like it was going to bounce again. The market started to sell off pretty heavy. If I show you guys the chart, uh, this is where the market would start to sell off. Uh, where are we here? Uh, let me see. Okay, so the market started to sell off right here again. I think, yeah, it was right here. It started to sell off right here again, and it continued to sell off, and I was, you know what? I'm just going to get in if it breaks lows on American Airlines stock. And if it does, um, you know, I think it could go to 1150. So I added here, I entered here a, a small position, half of the position that I originally covered here uh, to see if I could get another move. I did get a, a, a decent move. I decided to cover around here 1157, uh, took half, um, raised my stop to entry and hoping for a move to 1150. Now, this is where I lost my patience. Um, I, you know, another reason why I decided to cover it too is because my, my entry was a little bit too low. It was kind of like a chase. And again, I don't like to chase. Uh, but the only reason I did it this time was because I felt uh, that there was going to be a bigger move to downside. Uh, also, uh, the market was selling. Um, and uh, because of that, in combination with the market selling, um, Again, American Airlines, uh, low, gain, low uh, hanging fruit of a short. I felt like we we're going to get a bigger uh, sell off and it was breaking the low. So I decided to get back in, even though it was a little chase. But I did cover right away to make sure at least I took some profits of that move and I raised my stop. Uh, but then, I, you know, I started to lose my patience. It started to bounce around and I was like, you know what? Uh, my stop is, is not high enough. It's, uh, it's at 1161. To be honest, I wish I would have kept this. You know, this originally because my stop would have been at like at least 11.67 or even 11.75, um, and give it a lot of wiggle room to to kind of pull back to 11.50. So I covered half, and, and I also got hungry, like I mentioned earlier. And I'm like, you know what? Right now, I could go for a uh, a, a a bread, a, a pastry from my, my local Mexican uh, bakery, and some coffee. And that was that, guys. That was that. And also at the same time. I did notice uh, that DKNG was setting up uh, for a, a first day, uh, again, first green day again. It was kind of consolidating really nicely here, and it was kind of creating that, that W bottom W bottom in the pattern that I really like. So I had actually entries to, to, to go in if it breaks over above 11.10 or 11.20, but it didn't. 
it sold off. So I was like, whatever, I'm done for today. I made some money on American Airlines. I could have done better. I could have made some more money. Um, but you know, it happens, you know, things happen again as a trader, you're never perfect. Um, all you can do is learn from a mistake. This fat finger mistake did cost me a couple hundred bucks. Like I said, it happens, you know, um, I'm just happy that I actually made some money and overall I'm okay with this trade. Um, so that's pretty much it guys. Hope you learned something from this trade. Again, um, as a trader, you make mistakes, uh, when, especially when there's money in the line and there's always, of course, the psychology part of it. Um, as traders, we are human beings. We get hungry, we get bored, we get frustrated, and, and that's okay. Uh, that's the reason why I decided to get one of these. So, hey, so next one, guys, I'm going to eat my uh, conchita, and I'll see you guys soon. All right, guys, take care.